What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today we're going to be taking a look at a projector that was sent in. Uh, this is a home theater portable LED projector. So we'll take a look at the box, we're going to unbox it, and then I'll have some sample footage for you at the end. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Vict Singh is the brand. Not too familiar with them. Uh, win a free gift card or product. One year extended warranty, it says here. It's got some phone numbers, uh, I guess for support, so that's nice. Uh, we don't really have much info on here, so we'll have to look at the inside. So here we go. You have uh, let's see, you can do, you can w use your iPhone. It's got a USB plug in. You can connect your iPhone. It's giving you some how to do that. And then you have Mirrorcast available for Android. Uh, looks like we have Huawei. You can do wireless projection, uh, multi screen interaction, Sony, Samsung screen sharing, share mirroring, and all share cast. You can connect your projector to your home Wi Fi. So, I don't know if you can stream from that. So let's take a look. Comes in a little pouch. Uh, actually, it looks like a backpack. So, not sure. I don't think I would use that, but hey, you know. A little branding on there. Let's see what we got in here. We have, oh wow, okay. This looks to be a little tripod and a little ball head. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff in here, okay. So, let's set this to the side, so we got in this pouch. Looks like it may come with everything you need to get going. We have the power cable. HDMI cable, a remote control, and is this, looks like 3.5 millimeter to uh, aux cables. So let's take a look, okay, that's fine. And down here we have, I guess it's just a quick start guy. It looks like a little, some cleaning stuff. Uh, okay, we got a little microfiber little cleaning cloth looks like maybe for the lens here's your user manual and then a quick start guide so here's some stuff I mean if you've never used a projector you have your focus uh, which you go on one wheel the larger wheel and then you have your keystone which is sort of like your it levels it out you can see like it angles away from your screen or forward or whatever so that's the two adjustments you have there looks like you have you can plug in a headphone jack and use a splitter and connect two speakers to it. You have the AV in, which is what this one is. You can connect it to an older, I don't know, DVD player, or VCR or something like that. HDMI is probably more likely what we're gonna use. It's also got a VGA port as well as USB. Uh, so basically it's saying you power it up, you plug in the power, you plug in your device or whatever you're using, power it on using the remote. Uh, it has some, we'll take a look at the adjustability where you can adjust the angle. It looks like it's got an SD card slot, like I said, USB, the other things, you can cast screen, or this is cast square, <laughs> and then you can turn it off. So, pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at this. Cool little, oh, I lost something, little rubber one. That's pretty cool little, never seen that before. Let's put this back on. Looks like we lost a little rubber foot in shipping. So here is, we have this little adjustment here, and this is to adjust your angle, your height. So that's cool, it's very small. Uh, do not look into the lens. Okay. So here's all your buttons to navigate through the system. Here's some of your, well I guess all your connections are over here. Headphone jack, like we talked about, so basically that's speakers. Uh, the AV, two USB, HDMI, and VGA. 
I thought it said SD card slot too. Oh, that's right there. The SD card slot is right above, so it's a full size SD card slot. So I guess if you load on some movies, uh, let's see, there's your keystone adjustment, which is like I said, moving that. Then you have focus here, which is gonna move the lens in and out. You got a cover on the lens. That's the lens right there. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm always doing IG stories or updates on Twitter when I have products like these showing like the using it with the family or something like that. I think this one, what I'm gonna end up doing is I have a whiteboard right beyond the camera where I'm looking at. I think I'm gonna clean that off really well and set this up on a, I have a little stand over here, a little uh, rolling cart. Put it on the cart, should be the right level. Um, and then we'll get this all set up. I'll do some B-roll footage of that. It's dark in this basement. I mean, you always wanna use a projector in the darkest environment as possible. Window detection, this is, so this would pretty much go on your door, I would say. I mean, you can put it on your window as well, so if someone opens a window, but me personally, I think this is gonna be on my uh, door. So you have some 3M tape on the back. You If you guys got any questions about this, ask them down below. I'll leave a link for this down in the description. Um, anything you guys want to know about it, like I said, I'll be I'll be giving updates on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you follow me there. But overall, I mean, it's super small. I mean. Okay, so a little bit more information about this. I just looked it up on Amazon just to make sure I knew what I was looking at. Um, okay, so you have as screen mirroring Bluetooth, it has 3600 lux, which I believe is the brightness of the bulb. So that's, I think, good. Uh, a ten, it supports 1080p, which I'm really sort of surprised about in this form factor. I thought for sure it was gonna be 720. Uh, supported, uh, and it has hi-fi sound. Let's see, you could put a, TV stick in here it says, or a PS4. Obviously anything with HDMI is gonna work, so they're just listing stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's see, Bluetooth function is not available for second generation AirPods, okay. Wired and wireless projector are both supported. For getting the most stable connection, I suggest you use a wired projector projection from iOS systems and wireless projection for Android. That's interesting. I would personally, I have an iPhone, I would use wired anyways, so I would hope that it would you know, charge my device at the same time, so we'll have to see about that. Uh, looks like it's a pretty simple menu system. Again, it's giving you walkthrough. Let's see a couple display specs. Uh, lamp life has 40,000 hours. Oh, it supports 1080p. Native resolution is 800 by 480 pixels. Okay. Contrast 2001. Projection screen size will go from 32 to 170 inches. Uh, projection distance, you can go 1.15 to 5 meters away from the screen. Aspect ratio, you can do 4.3 or 16.9. We talked about all the different. You can do max card is 32 gigs. And hard door, you can actually put, connect the hard drive as well to the port, and it can be only a 250 gig. Um, so that's fine for like flash drives and whatever. Let's see, video format, it's got a lot of video formats. So, okay. $99. So, I mean, you're talking 100 bucks. If this works really well, I can see me putting this in the kids' room, uh, or like I said, in the basement, or outside on a little projector for the summertime where we have like a little bonfire or something so really nice oh camping my sisters go camping all the time this may be a great gift for them hopefully they're not watching so anyways that's going to be it for this one uh, i'm going to cut right now after i give you my signing off spiel and we'll take a look at some sample footage but again follow me on my social accounts if you want some more updates on this uh, that's gonna be it for this one i hope you enjoyed it if you did you can hit the thumbs up you can also subscribe down below if you've yet to do that. And you can also hit that little bell to get a notification when we post videos. That's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you in the next one.